First, I'll explain what a hooded eye is. It just means that you have some skin that goes over your eyelid when you open your eyes. There's nothing wrong with having hooded eyes. You just have to do your makeup a little bit differently. So if you've done winged eyeliner before, you know the struggle and it looks good with your eyes closed. And then when you open your eyes, it looks distorted. So we're gonna fix that. Starting with your eyebrows is a great idea because it will help lift the eye and can frame your eye area. Now, if you have hooded eyes, you want to fill in your eyebrow on the top. You don't want to bring it down because we don't want to take any of that special space for our eyeshadow. So as you can see here, I'm just filling in my eyebrows at the top and not bringing it downwards. Now just brush your eyebrow hairs back up and then you're ready to carve out your brow. Now take a concealer that is the same shade as your skin or a shade or two lighter as I'm using here. I'm using the Danessa Myricks uh, Color Fix. This is important to do because it removes any discoloration. As you can see, I have some redness and you can see some of my veins on my eyes. So this just creates a smooth canvas for your eyeshadows. You need to set the concealer we just put on our eyes. This prevents any creasing. I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder. You can already see the difference. For the winged liner, you want to start on your lower lash line and continue it out towards the end of your eyebrow. So I'm using the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette in just a brown eyeshadow color. Then you're going to start smudging the brown eyeshadow upwards. Then I'm using a small pencil brush just to continue to smudge it up and out. I went back in with a little bit more of the brown eyeshadow just to buff it out a little bit more and get a smooth gradient effect. I decided to use the burnt orange color in the Groundwork palette by Danessa Myricks, but you can use any color for this. And you're just slowly buffing it towards the inner corner and buff it out and upwards and make sure to go above your natural crease. I'm using a flat fluffy brush for this, but any fluffy brush will work. Now you wanna go in with a black matte eyeshadow and I'm using a flat angled brush for this. This will just enhance the wing. I decided to bring it to the inner corner of my eye, but this step is optional. Now we're going back in with some black eyeshadow just to buff it out. If you have enough eyeshadow left on your flat angled brush, you can also buff it out that way. You need a clean fluffy brush for this part and you're just buffing it out so everything is a smooth kind of gradient effect. You want to get a black liner and just tight line your upper waterline. Curling your eyelashes will help open up your eye. To finish the bottom lash line, go in with a pencil brush and take the brown shade that you used originally and just buff it along the lash line. Then go in with your flat angled brush, take the black and gently buff it along your lash line. I wanted to deepen up just the outer corner so I went and put in a little bit more black on the upper lash line. Now for my favorite part, cleaning up the wing. You need to get a makeup wipe or you can use a Q-tip and you're just sharpening that wing and cleaning up any fallout. Make sure to drag the wipe towards your temple. To enhance the wing even more, you're gonna go back in with your concealer and just tap it along the edge of your wing and then blend downwards. You can take your sparkly eyeshadow. I'm using the Janessa Myricks Twin Flames and just patting it all over the eyelid. Coat your eyelashes with mascara and make sure to drag the wand outwards to get that lifted effect. You can leave it like this, but I want to add a little bit more drama, so I put on some fake eyelashes. Just make sure that they wing out towards the end to get that lifted effect. I wanted the sparkly eyeshadow to pop a little bit more, so I went back in with the Vanessa Myricks Color Fix liquids and just pressed that over the eyelid, keeping it towards the inner corner. Now this is the finished eye look. So much smoother, and when you open your eyes, there's no weird distortion. Just look at the difference. Just because you have hooded eyes doesn't mean you can't do winged liner.
I completed the other eye using a different technique. So if you have shaky hands, you might wanna check that out. I'll link it below and above. If you found this video helpful, subscribe so you don't miss out on any other hooded eye tips. For shorter content, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook.